Hey guys, it's Luton here, and uh, I've got a thought for the day for you today, and uh, we've not had one of these for a little while. In fact, some people who are new subscribers might not even know this series, but it's a thought for the day series. I've been running it for ages on Battlefield 3, and it's you know it's been a great series for the channel. It's where I take a very short video and just look at some elements of the game, things that are interesting, things that may be screwed up or I've done wrong or work well. And I was in the third seat there, bringing down that heli. The guy bails out and uh, I pick him off of the road as he's coming for us, he's trying to engineer that tank down. But anyway, that is not the purpose of this video. So today what we're looking at is the mortars. Now, mortars are something that I have generally... I why the hell was I... Th oh, I was throwing an ammo box they asked for me behind. Anyway, um, mortars are something that I have really underused there. If you're wondering why I threw a grenade, it's because I picked up my controls differently. I haven't used a mortar for so long, I was like, how do I use this thing? Now look what's happening. They have got a very, very strong defense on the flag right now. And we are having a nightmare breaking in. Look at what's happening. They're so concentrated. And I said to the guys, I was like, hey, look, I'm going to grab the mortar. This is the perfect time to use the mortar. Soften up that capture the flag base so that we can break in there. And that's what I wanted to do. They've been dug in. We hadn't really been able to get anywhere with it at all. And... I decided, hey, this is a perfect time to try and use the mortar because I rarely use it. And you can see I'm getting hit markers here. I got one kill already. I'm trying to get a hit on that tank. And the point about mortars, all right, they are not always a kill tool. They're not always. They can be a little bit psychological. Now, I'm just moving a little bit, okay, because as we know that once you start using the mortar, you'll get locked and positioned very quickly. When you start firing mortars, you appear on the minimap. So you only want to fire like three, four rounds and then move on, okay? I don't know what the exact amount of rounds it is that actually designates you on the map, okay? But I always fire like three or four and then I move position. Now you can see my guys are moving up across the field here. The other thing, it's really great being on a mortar. And you can see, look, right now, a mortar position has appeared on the enemy. And this is because I think that guy that I killed already, you see I got another one, two kills right there. So I'm picking up some kills and I'm softening up that base. And the point is that it will start to cause a bit of a distraction. It will cause a bit of a frustration. When they start getting killed by those mortars, they're going to start to want to get out of those positions. And I was targeting some of the most, you know, locked down positions, particularly where I was firing at right there. We know that that's the stair staircase in that base that's the staircase where people stay people generally stay on that staircase because it's considered a safe position so by mortaring that staircase i'm making them feel like they don't have anywhere safe that's going to mean they have to move around the base more and you can see i'm going for the enemy mortar here but he's slightly out of my range okay i couldn't get to him so now i'm going to have to move forward again and that's what i'm doing moving forward further into the base so that i can actually get on that enemy mortar so this is a great tactic for this, and it's not just a good tactic for this, it's a good tactic on Rush as well. Because if you can get a mortar unit down on Rush, it can be really good for softening up those targets. But Capture the Flag, it does work particularly well, because it's a situation where you will often get a really hardcore defense. People don't necessarily want to, you know, get down on those targets. And I'm just trying to find this guy again. Okay, I don't know where he is. He's disappeared off because he's not firing mortars. And look right here. I get knifed and it's Padrone and Padrone was the guy who I killed initially he's in my clan he's been coming for me he wants to get me off of that position so that's been today looking at mortars guys do you think they're useful or not and what's the best situations that you find for using mortars let me know see you next time